Now, one of the important preliminary tests that are done for the identification of organism is catalase test. So, what do you have to remember about catalase test? Now, the percentage of hydrogen peroxide which is used in catalase test is about 3%. Now, when you do your catalase test, this is mainly done to differentiate between staphylococci and your streptococci. Now, the thing to keep in mind is here you're trying to identify the organism which produces catalase enzyme, which breaks down hydrogen peroxide and produces oxygen, which is appreciated in the form of effervescence. So, always remember there are two things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing your um, test, catalase test. The ideal medium to be used for testing catalase um, is nutrient agar. So you are always supposed to test the colony taken from nutrient agar. You do not use a colony which is picked up from blood agar because it can give you a false positive result. And you cannot also use your loop to pick up the colony when you're testing for catalase test. So these are the two things that you have to keep in mind when you're doing your catalase test. And most importantly, done to differentiate between staphylococci and streptococci.